All right, here we go. So, uh, gentleman brought this over uh, today. It's actually the second Troy Belt Storm 24 inch uh, today that I worked on. Um, I uh, I cleared the obstruction in the air vent. I did adjust the uh, the tab or the lift on the uh, on the float pole. I sus I don't know. I mean it. The the float poles kind of kind of look very cheap. Uh, the float poles that I'm used to seeing on these are typically metal. Uh, and honestly, I don't remember. I, I I didn't pull the float off the I should say the float off the uh, the other uh, unit that I was just at, <clears throat> but. Um, I do believe we got this running about as well as it's going to get without getting too involved with uh, new carburetor parts. So uh, I'm turn it on. I'm gonna try to start it without choking it. Maybe a prime here. I think it'll throw snow uh, for the gentleman and uh, yeah this uh, and keep complaining about this gimbal <clears throat> I'm going to going to adjust the uh, come on. I'm going to adjust the uh, the drive link form uh, uh, it's funny because the the other uh, Troy boat that I was just servicing a uh, very similar issue so uh, what's interesting is this linkage is all the way down at the bottom and uh, I'm gonna push it up a little bit because when you put it into reverse uh, you get so when you put it in reverse one here you actually get a forward you get a forward uh, motion out of the uh, transmission so I'm gonna try to transfer some of that energy to uh, reverse and get his reverse to go a little bit faster in reverse now, uh, I see that the share bolts are missing, so hopefully he's got those sitting somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> maybe he used those, but the snowblower doesn't really look like it's been used very hard. Hopefully, uh, 
hopefully we you know I can get him on the phone tonight yet and let him know that it's uh, ready to go I'm gonna assemble the uh, 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 the panel cover over the uh, carburetor here and uh, this should treat him pretty well as long as it keeps uh, keeps the gas out of it there is a uh, a lot of people don't realize this even if you run it dry you need to push the float uh, drain there jerk too sorry yelling at the uh, passerbys that uh, don't know how to do 25 so uh, this will actually release uh, the remaining fuel inside that float or inside that bowl uh, so that it doesn't get stale while you let it sit for extended periods of time uh, and honestly if you got a piece of equipment that you spent seven or eight hundred dollars on or twelve hundred dollars on or you know two thousand dollars on you should probably run it every once in a while uh, at least more than uh, more than once a year so happy blowing folks soon we'll be mowing